Hi guys, this is Ben from Phys Education. We have had an enormously interesting afternoon trying to get a physics live to run. And this time, we're going to call it Physics Past Live because our computers refuse to do what they should do. So we rapidly, quickly grabbed another computer, made it happen, and I might sound a little bit different with my audio today. I understand last week I sounded a little bit low and a little bit high, like I was on helium or something. But uh, the plan is that you want to do science, you want to hear about our tech issues, you want to do the science stuff. So what we want you to do is you should have some straws nearby. If you haven't got straws nearby, you can always do this another time. Uh, I've got here a small straw and a large straw. And the plan is with our small straw and large straw, we're going to turn it into a straw flute and investigate how wave sound waves actually work. The way we're going to do this, you're going to need some scissors. So let's do the thing. I'm going to put my large straw away for a start because I want the small one. I'm going to put my scissors down and I'm just going to simply squish it. Now as I squish it, we probably want to make like a crease on either side. Give it a decent squeeze. And uh, once you've done that, get your scissors and chop it one way and the other way. I've got a straw going all over my computer. <laughs> going to happen more. And what you want to do, I'm going to go up my camera a little bit. You want to have it so it's sort of about that shape. Now, uh, if you're not uh, able to use scissors, get your adults to do it. Of course, we don't want to have anyone chopping themselves off. They shouldn't be chopping bits off. We don't want to do that. <laughs> Now the way we do this, now this is a bit of a reality of doing this, it gets a little bit difficult sometimes, but you get the pointy bit and you put it just in behind your lips. Yeah? Now a lot of people, they really tighten their lips right around the straw, don't do that, just go, go in there nice and gentle. And what I want you to do is with an even simple blow, blow through the straw and see if you can get a sound. Now admittedly, a lot of people tend to blow a little bit hard, so start off simple and then build up some pressure. So I'll do mine. And it works. Now, by the way, if you are playing along, feel free to uh, throw your name down in the comments. Just say, hi, I'm Bob or Sally and where you're from and tag maybe someone who's getting involved. Let's do this again. Now, what's going on is a little bit here is actually acting as a reed. A reed is something that can vibrate. You tend to find them in clarinets and saxophones. And the vibrations allow the sounds to occur. In fact, anything that's vibrating, a solid or liquid or gas, will technically make a sound. Now, we're going to see if we can change the sound. The way we're going to do that is, remember the largest straw I had? We're going to slide the largest straw over the smaller straw. Oh, I just dropped the straw. There we go. Try again. There we go. Just a nice tight fit. I mean, if you've got a McDonald's straw and a small straw, it's not going to work so well. You want to have a fairly tight fit there. Now let's see if we can hear a difference in the sound if I start blowing and then I make this longer. Listen to it. And actually, if you're playing along and you have a straw with this, tell me whether the sound gets higher or lower. All right, so let's get it going. Okay, did it get lower or did it go higher when we made it go longer? Yeah, lower. And here I am making sounds like that in Facebook in the afternoon. But it did go lower, yes. Now, the reason why, you had what's called a standing sound wave inside your straw. You had like a wobbly, basically, wave. Now, it turns out that as you stretch that wave out, as you elongate the wave, so it's much wider, you get less vibrations per second and you get a lower pitch. So, if you can hear this. <laughs> It's quite low. Now, what do you think will happen if we start chopping the straw? Now, as a bit of a heads up, if you're chopping the straw, take it out of your mouth, chop it, and then put it back. Because I don't want you chopping like your nose off, especially like a nose like mine, it's pretty long. All right, so what we're gonna do, we'll get going and uh, listen to it. So we'll get it going, we'll go over here. Out. Here it changed, got higher. What if I get rid of the green one now and go even Shorter still, again, if you're chopping, please take it out of your mouth, chop it, and put it back in so you don't chop your nose off. And just be aware of anyone around you, because I don't want you, like, getting it knocked into your eye. That would be a bad idea. In fact, how about I just do it? Let's do it again. <laughs> right. I can see some people are joining. Hi, Peter. Hi, Kate. Hey, Duncan. And Duncan's there moderating away, helping us out if you've got any questions. Did it go higher? Yes. 
Remember that elongated way we had, that long way we had a long straw? You had a long note. Now, if you have this going, I'll do it again. If you squish that wave into a smaller space, you get more vibrations per second, a higher frequency of vibrations per second, you get a higher pitch. <laughs> it's a simple experiment and it's a bit of fun. Just be aware again. It's like our safety thing. Uh, don't do what Donnie don't does. Don't have it close to your face chopping away. Take it out of your mouth, chop it, and then put it back. But it does help with teaching a bit about sound. Look, I hope you had a little bit of fun with our physics live, though, as today we're calling it physics past live because we had a bit of fun with our audio. But we're live finally. And look, if you want to follow along and do more experiments on the physics website, just literally just type in physics education to Google or find the, our website in Facebook. You can see it in there in our About Us section. And there are over 150 free experiments which will keep you busy. And if you're studying stuff about sound, there is a sound section and there is a sound science visit, a sound, science sound visit, where we go out to schools and do lots of stuff. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic time. We will be doing another physics live. Hopefully it will be physics live, not physics past live. Uh, but we will be doing some more stuff next week. Thanks very much. You've been listening to me, Ben News and Physics Education. Have a fantastic afternoon. And I will see you another time. All the best.